Because hard work, persistence and knowledge is the only thing that's going to make you successful in this life. And it doesn't matter if you are located in Bulgaria, in Britain, we are in the EU regardless. The EU, we are so lucky, me and you, to be born. Whether you're born in Bulgaria, born in Britain, we still are in the top, let's say, 15 to 20% of this planet. Maybe Why would you live in Bulgaria? Everyone's leaving Bulgaria. All of the Bulgarians are going away. No one wants to live here. Oh my God, why would a foreigner come here? Wow, it's so corrupt. Everything's so bad. Bad schools, bad hospitals. The roads are bad. Mafia everywhere. These are some of the very, 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 very ignorant statements I hear from um, Bulgarians quite regularly. Um, the Bulgarians who don't like Bulgaria specifically, the ones who worship foreign countries, they often ask me, why? Why, why, why would you come here? Oh my God, it, it's so, oh no, no, they keep crying. I'm going to Germany, I'm going to Britain, I'm going to France or America. They keep saying that all of the time. As, you, as we all know, um, Bulgaria is having some kind of demographic crisis among young people. Everybody, everybody keeps saying, oh, you need to go to a foreign country to build something. Oh, it's so hard to be here. <sighs> very frustrating very frustrating and today's video I'm going to talk about why it is so frustrating and why Bulgaria is actually a great place to build a future as a young person as a foreigner and even as someone who perhaps isn't that young providing you have the right skills and providing you're willing to be flexible the last thing I want to see is people, especially local Bulgarians, leave Bulgaria. The last thing I want to see is this country, which has an incredibly rich culture and history, let's say die for nothing more than some easy to get EU money, you know, German money. And hopefully this video for foreigners who are watching it, might persuade some of you to actually come here and build something, can generate value here. And maybe for you Bulgarians who are living abroad or thinking of leaving your country, maybe it will help you think and go, wait, actually, Bulgaria is a great place to live. I am just being tricked by this giant, let's say, um, the, I don't know how to say it, but you're being tricked by, let's say, people who dislike their own land. Now, before we begin, I don't think Bulgaria is perfect. Far from it. There are so many things which I would improve. But Britain isn't perfect too. As you know, I, I originate from Britain. Um, I love my home country or my home cultures. I'm British Jamaican and I love both of these cultures and the heritage be behind these places. But I've also came, you know, over recent years, I have began to... Um, to fall in love with Bulgaria and now I'm very happy living here um, but I keep getting that question I keep getting that statement why are you here Bulgaria is not a place where you can have a good future and I think that's bullshit guys I think that's absolute bullshit okay and yes I might be might be saying this as a privileged 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 foreigner who works online etc 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 but that doesn't mean you can't do it that doesn't mean the many messages I get from young Bulgarians saying Reese or Jamal, because this is an email, I get a lot of emails and messages from young Bulgarians. You seem to be very happy in Bulgaria, but I, I think I'm going to Germany to study or to the UK to work. Um, how do you, you know, how, how do you happen to be, you know, uh, relatively happy or successful living in Bulgaria? Because everyone around me is saying, it's, you know, it's not a good place to build a future. So today I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the future. 
and I'm going to talk about why, why, why live, it doesn't matter if you live in Bulgaria, it doesn't matter if you live in the UK or Germany in the coming years. And in fact, it's probably much better to stay in a country with decent cost, cost of living and good internet infrastructure like Bulgaria as opposed or compared to a Germany or Britain or a France. You don't always need to chase some money, you need to chase happiness sometimes, okay? So, um, anyway guys, before I begin, <laughs> that was a big introduction. Salafti, Vazda, Asam Jamal, my normal intro. Um, remember guys, sit down, relax, sipate si nesto the pna, moje bi chai, ili cafe, ili rakia. If you're like me, and remember, I call to the video of the Harifa, da like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think, okay? So, let me collect my thoughts for a moment, okay? This is totally off my head. I felt like I had to say this because I keep getting emails from very, seems like intelligent, multilingual young Bulgarians who say to me, Oh, Reese, I'm thinking of studying in Germany. Um, what should I do? And I and and I'm not a life coach, dude. I'm not. I'm not that at all. But one thing I want to say is that Germany, Britain, France, America, they are not better than Bulgaria. Okay, I'm from Britain. Trust me. Just because you see London on television, just because you assume everyone in London is rich, does not mean they are happy. And by the way. People, not everyone is rich there. I grew up extra, well, very poor. I grew up, especially in my younger years, yeah? Growing up on a council estate, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't nice. Even through high, most of my high school years, my school was terrible. We didn't have teachers for a lot of the subjects. People say to me, oh, but Bulgarian education is bad. British education is just as bad, trust me, okay? It's just because you see London and Oxford on the television doesn't mean the rest of the UK is like that. Go to the north of England where people have been left to die, where industry has been destroyed and there's not that much. What you have is a semi-expensive cost of living, but you don't have that many opportunities in the north of England. You have to go to London and you have to spend almost all your money on rent for a one bedroom little crappy, uh, yeah, one bedroom. Whereas in Bulgaria, if you were smart, if you realise that in 2020 you should be, as a young person, this is mainly a message to my young Bulgarians, okay? The young soldiers, <laughs> the young Bulgarians. If you realise that the future is online, the future is using internet technology, whether that's teaching online, whether that's creating videos online, graphic design, whether that's programming, whether that's development, anything like that. If you can realize that the future is based on the internet and social systems within the internet, marketing, for example, social media marketing, then um, you'll realize that Bulgaria is a hundred times better than the UK or Germany to go to. Sure, you can go to the university of in Britain and in, in, in Europe. Some of them are better, I will admit that. But the question you've got to ask, ask yourself is at what cost? Are they really better? I honestly believe that it doesn't matter which university you go to because hard work, persistence and knowledge is the only thing that's going to make you successful in this life. And it doesn't matter if you are located in Bulgaria, in Britain, we are in the EU regardless. The EU, we are so lucky, me and you, to be born. Whether you're born in Bulgaria, born in Britain, we still are in the top, let's say, 15 to 20% of this planet, maybe even a smaller percent, okay? So we need to stop. It was just like me when I was younger, you know, I could have blamed uh, not having a good education because I didn't finish high school properly, okay? I could blame that and I could blame, you know, maybe being a, a, a quite, a, well, all my life pretty much, being a poor black guy on why I wasn't successful. It wasn't until I learned to work, it wasn't until I learned that, that money, the future is online, you need to learn digital skills, I was able to do something. And when I started to work online, when I started to use digital skills, 
guess what? what? I looked at countries like Bulgaria and I said, wow, this, this country has great internet, it has great weather, great food, and the cost of living? Wow, incredible. So again, this is a message to young, young, young Bulgarians who keep saying, oh, I need to go to Germany, or I need to go to England, or I need to go to America to make money. No, you don't. You need to utilize the internet, okay? I'm not telling anybody what to do. It's a free market. But I'm really annoyed at people, at Bulgarians, hating on Bulgaria. It breaks my heart. Stop it, bro. Stop it, man. Really, because trust me, Britain isn't better. Germany isn't better. I've been in both places. These countries have no soul. And I like Britain for some things that make it British. I'm not hating on my own country. But what I will say is something that Bulgaria still has is its culture, its history, its soul, its food. <laughs> it has its weather as well. Oh my gosh. Why would you want to trade this? It's not just about money. It's about happiness. But if you can work online, yeah, you can make a good amount of money very relatively easily. Yeah, listen, whether that's programming, you know, all young people now, if you're under 18 and you're watching this, you know, first thing I'd say, learn to code. I know it sounds boring. It's not great. Maybe you'll find a language which you enjoy. Learn to code, like literally. Or if you don't want, if you're a creative individual, then try and go into graphic design. If you're a business-minded individual, maybe you can go into digital marketing, social media marketing. Research ways to make money online so you can stay in your home country and be happy. Ironic, me saying that as a foreigner, I know. But I have seen both sides of the coin and I, I need to tell you guys that it's not better over there. It's not better in Brit Britain or Germany. And some of you guys watching this will say, this is a strange video, Reef. Um, um, why are you making it? But again, it's a message for the youth because I keep getting emails. I keep getting messages. What should I do? I know I'm not a life coach, but people obviously, um, because I make videos on Bulgaria, I'm a foreigner. They want to know a foreigner's perspective. And my perspective is this. Young people of Bulgaria, foreigners living in Bulgaria, everybody, there is a mission. We, we have something greater to do. We have to, we need to, and I'm saying we because I live here now. Um, we need to stop complaining about the lack, the lack of economic opportunities. We need to stop complaining about the lack of economic opportunities and start creating them. And the way to do that is digitally. I mean, there are also many outsourcing companies, uh, many um, foreign companies within Bulgaria now who are seeing that it's a good place to build a business and they're starting to do things here. Trust me, trust me, trust me, Bulgaria will be an incredibly uh, successful economically country in the next 10 years. But it's not about money as well. It's about soul. Nowhere so far in you, I think Bulgaria is one of the best places. You have these quiet mountains, these quiet villages. You have so much del delicious food, natural, real, organic, homegrown food. A deep, rich folklore culture. Okay, you have these incredible cities, Plovdiv, Velikoturnovo, um, the re places, the Redopi Mountains, Pirin Mountains, uh, Wonderful Bridge. You Bachkovo Monastery, you have so much. So when I hear young Bulgarians uh, saying, oh yeah, Bulgarian music sucks, yeah, Bulgarian culture, yeah, I don't want, I want to go to England. It's, it's annoying because trust me, it isn't better there, dude. It isn't better. Um, a great example, it's a long video and it needs to be a long video. I have a very good friend, okay? We'll call him M for now. I won't say his name, but he's called M. And he went to the Netherlands. He went to Holland, actually. Um, and he went there to make some money, okay? He started working at a Dutch company and he was making good money. You know, he was making a lot. I think he said he was making around uh, 3,000 euros or two, anyway, about anywhere between four to 6,000 leather. 
He was making very good money compared to what he could make back in Bulgaria. But um, within one year, he started to hate his life. Why? Because countries like Germany, Holland, and unfortunately my, my country, which I still want to love, Britain, they have no soul. There's the food, he, he was saying the food was terrible, he got very fat, he got very lonely, the people aren't as friendly because people only care about money. Whereas here, the friendliness, the soulfulness is so much higher. Bulgaria is one of the only countries I've came to where I felt so at home and welcome. This is my home now. And that, that should tell you how crazy it is, yeah? That for me, okay, I'm half white, half black, but for me, I'm a very obvious foreigner. I'm very different to you, yeah? Even I have chosen to live here because it's just there's so much, there's so, the, the good vibes. For example, Plovdiv, you live in Plovdiv. In the spring, it's like 25 degrees every single day, the summer too. You can go to uh, Grebna Baza, you can go to one of the tepes, so many hills, so much nature. So, you don't have that in these countries that you want to go to to make money. The food, Shavska Salata, Damati, the best, nice, nice, nice such, nice such ni Damati v Europa, nice in the minor, trust me. Okay, some of the food here is incredible. The cheese, oh man, Sirene, some good Kashkaval, Lukanka, oh, all of it, Domajna. There's so much here. All you, if, if, if the only thing, if the only thing, and this is to the emails, because I had about, I've had about literally about 50, no, about 30 of these emails, and in the comments, about 50 plus of these comments by young Bulgarians wanting to leave, okay? Saying, why are you in Bulgaria? It's, it's a bad country, there's no opportunity. Trust me, it's not the lack of opportunity. You need to make your own opportunity in life. You need to create your own vision. And that friend, that friend I was talking about in the Netherlands, who, um, he got very depressed in the Netherlands, he hated his life there. He was telling me not long ago. And guess what? He came back to Bulgaria, lost the weight, got a good job in Bulgaria because he used online skills. He used his language. He, he learned these languages, English and German. He learned, he, he used his languages and he used his uh, internet, uh, and, uh, internet and online skills and he got a good job. And it wasn't, yeah, he wasn't making 6,000 leather like in the Netherlands. Now maybe he makes 1,500 levers or 1,200 levers, but it doesn't matter because the cost here is much lower, but he's also much happier in a country that is far kinder with a far more real soulful culture. If you're a soulful traditional person like I am and like he is, you belong somewhere here, maybe a Bulgaria, maybe somewhere in South America, maybe somewhere even, who knows, in the Balkans, maybe in Southern Spain. All of these places have soul, culture, good cost of living, and they're welcoming to young, hardworking people. So that's my message, guys, okay? Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. It was more of a rant, more of me shouting at the camera. But it needed to be said because I keep seeing these messages. I keep seeing I'm leaving Bulgaria. The country's not good. And I keep, I keep, it, oh, it annoys me. Yes, there's corruption. Yes, the politicians aren't great here. I admit that. But you think Britain is any better with our mess of Brexit? You think Boris Johnson? Do you think we want Boris Johnson? Most of the young people? No. Okay. You think a lot of French people want Macron? You think German people? You think German people are happy with the politics of Germany? Especially during the refugee crisis? No. No country is happy with their politicians, okay? Because at the end of the day, no government or minimal less government is best government, okay? We live in a trap, a social trap, where we have to worship these politicians like gods, no matter where you are, if you're in Bulgaria or Britain. Okay, guys? So, and with regards to the education and healthcare in Bulgaria, hey, it's not, it, 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 it's no, honestly, it's no different to Britain anymore. Trust me, man, trust me. Especially if you don't have money in Britain, it's not good, it's not good. Okay, guys? Um, there we go. Rant over, but bam, there you go, rant over. I really enjoyed this video. 
And why? Um, because hopefully I'll inspire. You know, I love the comments I get where it's uh, from some of my subscribers like, oh, you inspired me to, to come back to Bulgaria. You inspired me to take a holiday in Bulgaria. Or foreigners, you inspired me to move to Bulgaria. So I hope, yeah, I hope I inspire some of you guys. Um, and even if I don't, I hope I get some of you thinking. Um, next time you, you want to insult your country, um, just remember, remember that <laughs> it's, it's actually probably better than most of the other options, apart from this, apart from a little bit of money, which you can make online if you, if you utilize digital skills, okay? Again, it's just my opinion, okay? I know some people will say, eh, whatever, man, you're this, you're a privileged British guy living here, that's why you like it. Sure, whatever. But I know loads of very happy, successful Bulgarians who think the country is a great place to build business, okay? So, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe, speak to me some more, okay? Ciao. Love you guys, okay? Peace.